interactive online training on piping and instrumentation diagram. Module 7. Equipment Identification and Valve Tagging. Following topics to be discussed in this module. 1. Equipment Identification. 2. Valve Tagging. 3. Quiz. and ID equipment identification system is usually implemented as per design and drafting procedures of the engineering consulting firm or the client provided specifications. Questions that may be asked about equipment identification include What is it? Why is it? What does it mean? Some other questions that might often be asked include, is there a common or standard pipe equipment identification system? Do engineering consulting firms and clients have different equipment identification systems? In fact, there is no common or rather standard equipment identification system. It is solely the client or consulting firm's decision on how to designate and generate a system of their own according to industry practices. Design specifications usually provide information on equipment tagging criteria or engineering consulting firms have their own system to implement. The equipment identification is an important aspect of the equipment on a project and should only be created and controlled by the process engineering group for the project, specifically by the designated engineer of that project. Commonly used abbreviations for various equipment types are mentioned below. AC air coolers, B boilers and fire heaters, B deep building, C columns, compressors, D dryers, E heat exchangers, E F exhaust fans. F filters, G gas motors, H direct fire heaters, I instruments and telecom. Equipment, J ejectors, K compressors, blowers, and electric motors. MX mixer, and generators, T pumps, Q electrical equipment, R launchers receivers, S pressurized storage tanks, T towers, TK atmospheric tanks, UH utility heaters, X miscellaneous and packages, Y release, V vessels. For the sake of simplicity and appearance, the equipment is usually identified as the initial category letter followed by four digits with A, B, C, and so on if applicable. Let us elaborate equipment identification tag for an example pressure vessel as below.
pressure vessel here. Plant specific site location or module number 2. Unit 5. Pressure vessel serial number 50. Project phase or area if applicable B. Now, we have a pressure vessel identification tag as B2550B. Equipment dog format. Before pressure vessel. 2 for site location or module. 5 for unit. 50 for equipment number. Before phase or area. Similarly, if there are other equipment such as tower, tank, pump, compressor, heat exchanger, filter, etc. The initial equipment letter shall be taken for identifying that particular equipment. The letter is then followed by the other digits accordingly as mentioned in the above example. Therefore, according to the criteria mentioned above, equipment identification tags could be assigned by listing the equipment on the particular unit under consideration. Finally, all major equipment should be named and provided general specifications in a label placed along the P&ID border. The examples for a condenser and compressor, as shown below. E 2590B. Refrigerant propane condenser. Manufacturer, condenser company. Size 6 base, 3 meter by 15 meter. Design 2000 kilo Pascal gauge at 170 minus 45 degrees Celsius. Duty 40,000 megajoules per hour. Motors 24, 15 kilowatt 660 volt 3 phase 50 hertz. C2510B Refrigerant Propane Compressor Manufacturer Compressor Company Type Centrifugal Model XYZ566A Driver Gas Turbine Pen valves require a consistent and clear tagging system for reference on P&IDs and in operating procedures. Valve tagging or numbering system is usually implemented as per design and drafting procedures of the engineering consulting firm or the client provided specifications. Tagging is an important aspect of the piping on a project and should only be created and controlled by the process piping group for the project. Specifically by the designated engineer of that project. The term valve dog is more specifically used in the industry and will be employed throughout the training modules. Any change in the line conditions or material causes a mandatory change in the valve tag if the tagging information includes material modifying factor.
The valve tagging activity should only be done when the PNIDs are well along in the development process. As the designated engineer performs the valve tagging of the PNID, he or she also initiates the first draft of the hand valve list database. The hand valve list is another area of discussion and beyond the scope of this training. Since this training is intended for PNID development, the term hand valve symbology may also be used to proceed on current modular valve tagging system. A more common and generic system is explained below with an example. Let us assume a valve tag with following format. Line size, valve prefix, sequential numbering. Let us assume a valve tag with following format. Line size, valve prefix, sequential numbering. In this example, we shall assign the following data to our valve tag. Line size 4 inch MPS, 100 pm. Valve prefix V. Sequential number ring, 0001. Four digit number is unique to each area. After considering the above information to generate a valve tag, we get 100. V0001. As an example of a gate valve, this valve tag shall be represented on the PNID as shown below. According to hand valve symbology, which will be provided in this example, the valve tag generation procedure mentioned above must be followed for all hand valves shown on the PNIDs. Following are the hand valve symbology tables for reference on the data required to generate a specific hand valve tag. Line size equivalence. Valve prefix V sequential numbering 0001. Four-digit number is unique to each process area. For example, 0001-9999. As seen from the above valve tagging system, line size equivalents have been used. In some design specifications, in addition to the above, height and pressure class and material or process modifiers are also assigned with the usual valve serial number. That all depends at the discretion of the engineering firm or client specifications on whether to implant more details with valve tagging or just specify as a serial number. Since pipeline numbers usually include the pressure class and modifiers, it is understood that the valve along those particular lines must comply the same properties as piping specifications. A hand valve list would best serve this purpose.
assign valve decks for the following valves. At this instant, module 7 ends. Line numbering system to be covered in the next module.